Over the past nine months of the pandemic, scientists have learned a lot about the virus, but one mystery is still plaguing doctors and patients. Why do some people come down with mild cases while others become so sick they die from it? Team 12's Colleen Sikora spoke with researchers who believe there may be something in our bodies that can explain why this happens. COVID-19 has such a wide range of outcomes, and Arizona scientists at TGen think it could be a molecule that factors into how sick someone gets. Hundreds of thousands of Arizonans it's a tough fight. have battled COVID-19 like Chris Paddock. I felt really tight in the chest where I couldn't take a deep breath. Paddock started noticing symptoms last Wednesday and went to Honor Health Deer Valley. It took me in immediately because my oxygen level started dropping. In the COVID-19 unit for a week, Paddock says he received remdesivir and antibody treatment to help him, trying to stay positive after losing family members of his own to the virus. You either stabilize, you get better, or it gets worse. And it's this wide range of outcomes that's having scientists look deeper. We wouldn't be in this mess if it was like every other virus. Dr. Nicholas Shork with TGen is leading a team of researchers looking at what's called MIR 1307. It's a molecule made by DNA that turns genes on and off. So what we found is that MIR 1307 appears to interact with the virus and now we're trying to figure out whether that's a good thing or a bad thing for the human host. Think of it like a dimmer switch. They believe, depending on how much someone has, will affect how sick they get with COVID. They're still researching whether MIR 1307 helps or hurts someone with the virus, but science has shown it's played a part in other diseases like certain cancers and H1N1. Oftentimes these amounts of substances like MIR 1307 vary from tissue to tissue. As Paddock continues healing, he's left thinking of those who are still in the worst of their battle. You could just hear other people, other patients in other rooms just coughing, gasping, and, you know, almost fight for their lives, too. Colleen Sakura, 12 News.